All right, we're going to move to our spotlight matchup. I had nothing to do with this. Uh, heading to the NFL, the Chiefs are 11-5, and 4-3 and three on the road. They will visit the Broncos, division rivals, who are 7-9, and 4-4 four and four at home. Right now, Kansas City is the 10-point favorite with a total at 44.5. Dear Denver, please don't kill our vibe. Uh, by the way, Arky, I did not bet the Chiefs last week. Hallelujah. Because uh, that means my perfect betting record with the Chiefs is still like going two months strong. So... Let's contain it on Saturday, probably just, um, or continue it on Saturday. I'm sure I just jinxed myself. Oh, well. Uh, and yes, this game was moved from Sunday to Saturday at 4.30 Eastern, so mark your calendars. Um, the one, this one doesn't mean a whole lot. <clears throat> the Broncos have been eliminated from the playoffs, but it would be nice if the Chiefs won to try to get back on top of the AFC West, or the AFC in general, sorry. Uh, go Texans. In the unlikely event that Denver were to win this game, it would be the first time since week two of 2015, by the way. But again, the Chiefs want that top spot in the AFC, and they are certainly not going to get cute and lose the number two seed in the process. Teddy Bridgewater is still expected to miss, meaning Drew Locke, MIZ, should once again get the start. Um, I'm going to refrain from getting too cocky here because it always seems to come back to bite me. So, Arky, save me for myself and tell me how you are going to be betting this Saturday afternoon game. Well, until you start looking at some of the trends and the numbers and this, you sort of forget a couple of things. One, like you said, the Chiefs haven't lost to the Broncos in 12 straight games. <laughs> it's been a minute. Like, it's been, like you said, since to September of 2015 that that happened. Patrick Mahomes is 8-0 against the Denver Broncos. That's not so great either. Um, <laughs> I keep trying to find ways to keep Denver in this game. Right, like Vic Fangio and that defense has been stellar all season, but they keep getting bit by injury bugs, concussion bugs, COVID bug. Like it just seems like there's something always nipping at their heels. And you see that Kansas City needs this game to put pressure on the Titans on Sunday yep. for the chance to be able to get the number one seed because the Titans hold the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. So the thing for me that seems most interesting about this is that Kansas City not only dominates Denver in general, they dominate them against the spread, too. They've won six straight games in Denver against the spread. <clears throat> of those 12 games I just mentioned they won in a row, seven of them have been by double digits, which is what we're looking at right now. Mm -hmm. They just assault the Broncos every time they get a chance to see them. It feels like, for the most part, over the last six seasons. And so, I love every minute of it. <laughs> I bet you do love every minute of it. The interesting thing is that the Broncos do, uh, the division opponents, keep Patrick Mahomes the most honest. He's only averaging like 251 yards a game against them in those eight meetings. He's got, I think, 10 touchdowns to four interceptions, which is not his highest in either one, one of those. So there is a reasonable thought that this game could be a little closer than, let's say, 30-3. to 30. But I do feel like this is a 27-10 to 10 type game all over the place on Saturday afternoon. So, I, for, for that reason, I feel like i got to go with Kansas City minus 10. A road favorite by double digits I don't usually love, but this year's NFL has taught me a lot of things and that those aren't impossible anymore. In fact, they're fairly frequent uh, <laughs> this year, especially the double-digit favorites, even on the road. And when there's this kind of matchup, the motivation is for Kansas City to get in, punch them in the mouth, get out, try to stay safe in Denver. All you got is sort of that pride on the line. Is that pride going to be enough for against this Kansas City team to be in a big bounce back spot after that loss to the Bengals last week? I I I don't think so. Actually, I don't think so. So I think <laughs> Kansas City minus ten in this game on the road at Denver Saturday afternoon. Shocking, no one. I'm right there with you, pal. Um, yeah, the Broncos are pretty much outmatched in every way possible in this game. Um, so back to those trends because I guess they're good to have in your back pocket. Uh, the Chiefs are 8-8 eight eight against the spread this season, and the Broncos sit at 7-9, and nine, and they actually won against the spread this season in their only game when going in as the 10-point dogs. Kansas City has hit this total in 10 of 16 games so far, and the Broncos have reached it in just five. I think the biggest question mark, Arky, here is at what point the Chiefs are probably going to pull Mahomes. Um, hopefully we'll have a lead 
that is healthy enough to where they can do that. Uh, so for that reason, I would probably stay away from the total, although I kind of am tempted to lean the over, but again, not going to play that one. I am playing uh, the Chiefs at minus 10. They are averaging 28 points to Denver's 19 a game. They are consistently putting up around 405 yards a game next to the Broncos, 344. But again, <clears throat> do with that what you will. They, uh, they're they just the better team offensively, defensively. I'm riding with Mahomes at minus 10. And yes, uh, could see this line still change between now and Sunday. But give me the Chiefs minus 10. And let's go for my perfect two and a half month Chiefs betting streak. <laughs> All right. If we, you win, we both win. If, if the Chiefs win, everyone wins on this show. That is right. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I said. Well, that's what happens. <laughs>